Friends, today in this video, you will learn how main distribution board complete wiring is performed with the help of auto changeover switch. First, I will discuss about what is auto changeover switch, then we will move on to wiring part. In your homes, if two sources are there for power supply, like normal power supply and another is from generator power supply. The power is supplied to our energy meter and after this power is distributed in our homes. Sometimes the power supplied through energy meter may fail, then for continuous power supply we use generator, UPS or inverter. If two power supply are there, then we cannot directly supply to our homes, because at a time only one power supply must be supplied. If you connect two power supply at a single point, then there will be short circuit. That's why we have to use changeover switch. This changeover switch is operated manually, like MCB type, you have to manually change this. But if you use auto changeover switch, then this will change supply automatically. As soon as main power supply fails, this auto changeover switch changes position instantly and power supply from generator will be active. I hope you understood the working of auto changeover switch. This auto changeover switch I have now is manufactured by CNC company. You can see the model number here. Friends, the power supply to our homes is first received by energy meter. This energy meter is of single phase because the wiring in our homes is generally of single phase. If you carefully look into this energy meter, you will find four terminals for connection. Before moving to connection part, have a look into the circuit diagram. In this diagram, you can see at one number terminal, we have to provide phase supply at three number terminal neutral power supply. For output power supply, we get phase supply from two number terminal and neutral supply from four number terminal. Power supply from electric pole is supplied through two wires, phase supply and neutral supply. I am taking these wires and I am connecting phase supply wire at one number and neutral supply at three number terminal as just before I discussed. The power supply from energy meter will further goes to distribution board. I am using a two pole MCB in which I will connect incoming power supply. For providing power supply to this MCB from this energy meter, I am connecting a red wire at two number terminal. Red wire is for phase supply. At four number terminal, connect one black wire. Black wire is for neutral supply. The other ends of both the wires is to be connected at this MCB. I am connecting the wires here. As I already told you that for wiring in distribution board, I will use two different power supply. One will be our main power supply. Other power supply can be generator, UPS or inverter. Whatever it may be, you have to bring the power supply to a MCB. I am using one more two pole MCB. The power supply is to be connected at this MCB, which is our second source power supply. For now, let us assume that there is another source present in my house for power supply that is generator. We will bring the power supply of generator through these wire. I am using blue wire for generator. Now I will connect both the wires at upper side terminals of this MCB. The power supply from both the MCB is to be supplied to auto changeover switch. In this MCB, which is of main power supply, connect two wires at output terminals. The other ends of the wire is to be connected to auto changeover switch at this point. You can see source A is written here. Wherever source A is written, provide normal power supply and wherever source B is written, provide generator power supply. I am taking these two wires and I will connect these wires at source A terminal. Now connect two wires at output terminal of this generator MCB. Blue wire is for phase supply and black is for neutral supply. The other ends of the wire is to be connected to source B. Source B terminal is at upper side. From this auto changeover switch, we will get output power supply which is to be connected to a two pole MCB. This MCB will provide protection from overload and short circuit for our home. Apart from this, we also need protection from earth fault. So we can also use a RCCB. Friends, if you use RCCB in your homes, then there won't be any danger of electric shock. This is why RCCB is required in your home. The RCCB required for this must be of 30 mA. You can see I don't have much space in my distribution board to connect all four. So the combination of MCB and RCCB is known as RCBO, which I am using here. From this device, you will get protection from overload and short circuit. But along with these, you will also get protection from earth fault. So you can connect this single device in your home in place of this combination. I am mounting this here. 
a lot of people may have question in their mind that why am i using 3 mcbs i am using 3 mcb because these two are for incoming power supply and this incoming power supply cannot be directly connected to change over switch if we directly connect supply to change over switch then you cannot disconnect easily when there is a problem in power wiring or control wiring if mcb is used then you can disconnect the supply easily along with this the price of auto change over switch is high on providing direct supply to switch if some fault or error occurs then this switch will not provide any protection it will not provide overload earth fault or short circuit protection if large amount of current flows through this then there will be some issues so always use mcb before providing incoming power supply to this switch the output power supply from switch needs to be connected to mcb and rccb i am using rcbo so it will perform functions together to provide power supply to this circuit breaker the output terminal of auto change over switch like i told you before the terminals at lower side is for output power supply at these terminals i will connect two wires i am using yellow wire here so that you can clearly differentiate i am taking these wires and connecting to output terminals of auto change over switch now this output power supply wires is to be connected to line terminals of rcbo at the terminals of rcbo at one side l is written and at one side n is written provide phase supply to l terminal and neutral supply to n terminal the output terminal of this circuit breaker where you will get neutral power supply connect a black wire at that point black is for neutral so i am taking this wire and connect this to bus bar so i am taking this wire and connect this to bus bar i connected this neutral supply to this bus bar because through this bus bar whole neutral supply is supplied to our home for phase supply if you want to distribute in different rooms then you can use single pole mcb in my distribution board there is not much space so i am connecting directly to show you in this rcbo where you will get phase supply from output terminal and this output phase supply is to be provided in our homes to explain the output power supply to our home from rcbo i am using a lamp to provide supply to this lamp we have to use phase supply wire as well as neutral supply wire take the neutral wire of lamp from this point and connect this to neutral bus bar anywhere from now i connected at this point of neutral bus bar the phase wire of our home is to be connected at phase supply terminal of rcbo now the control wiring of this auto change over switch is left if you want to manually operate this switch then there is no need of control wiring the switch i have now is auto change over switch which means it will change position automatically for this control wiring is required for control wiring you can see these terminals first and second terminal provide phase and neutral supply you can see br and bn is written here this means phase supply of second power source is to be connected to br and neutral power supply is to be connected to bn after that these terminals c1 and c off will be used for indication this means off indication lamp or on indication lamp can be connected to this point in this auto change over switch already a indication is present so i will not use these terminals i will only perform control wiring i am connecting a wire at br terminal the other end of the wire is to be connected to phase wire of source b i am connecting a black wire at bn terminal for neutral power supply and connect other end here we provided feedback of generator power supply to auto change over switch similarly for this normal power supply also we have to provide feedback to this change over switch for providing feedback of this power source i am using a wire connect one end at phase supply other end of the wire is to be connected to ar terminal at this neutral point i am connecting one more wire and other end of the wire is to be connected at an terminal friends wiring part is now completed only dressing is left to explain you i completed this wiring so i am leaving the dressing part you can see the display of energy meter is on now along with this power indication lamp is glowing in this auto change over switch if you look closely at this switch this is for auto or manual for now i am setting this as manual this means auto change over switch will not change automatically we have to do this manually so i fixed this to manual and this switch to source a source a means normal power supply after selection switch this normal power supply on 
you can see this indication lamp is glowing now if i turn on this main mcb you can see our lamp also turned on now when i switch on this generator mcb and switch off our normal mcb which means power supply through energy meter is disconnected you observe that changeover switch is not changed because we selected the switch to manual mode if manual mode is selected then you have to change the switch manually if you change this manually you can see power is supplied to our home if your normal power supply got back then change this switch again to source a then power is supplied to home through normal power supply if you turn this off then also power supply won't be affected now i am turning on this all the power supply is on and this auto manual switch is selected at auto position this changeover switch will now work on auto mode now when main power supply fails then you will see this changeover switch changes instantly you just saw that the moment i turned this off this switch changed the position when again turn back to normal this switch will change position how fastly it works you didn't even noticed when power supply got tripped in milliseconds this changeover is taking place if i turn this off and switch off the normal supply you can see power supply is disconnected the moment i turn on the power supply of generator this switch will change over the position when normal supply comes back this change over will again take place friends if you learned something new in this video please do like share and comment on this video if you didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video